Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have something exciting. A quick dive into using Dolly 3 with ChatGPT+. If you're curious about turning your words into stunning visuals, stay tuned. First, let's set the stage. Dolly 3 is the newest addition to ChatGPT's toolbox, but remember, you'll need a Plus subscription to access its features. Navigating is simple. After logging in, head to GPT-4 and there you'll find the Dolly 3 beta option. The main magic of Dolly 3? Transforming your descriptions into images. Think of it as your personal digital artist. One description can yield up to four unique images. But if you want a broader palette, provide four different descriptions and see the variations roll in. You aren't just limited to photos. Ask for oil paintings, cartoons, drawings, and more. Dolly 3 is highly versatile and can recognize and generate images in a multitude of art styles. You can try various art styles such as Impressionism, Surrealism, Digital Art, Minimalism, and many others. For those art enthusiasts, Dolly 3 can emulate styles of age-old artists like Van Gogh. But avoid referencing recent artists, describe their style instead. Keep in mind that it has usage limits. I got this message after a few generations. Access denied. You've reached the current usage cap for GPT-4. You can continue with the default model now or try again after a number of minutes. In this case for me was 45 minutes. In other cases for Dolly 3, it was between 2 and 30 minutes. Last week, I could generate text after hitting a limit with Dolly 3. But now, it seems I can't use any of the GPT-4 models until some time passes. So, be mindful of how you use your time with GPT-4. Now, let's talk sizes and shapes. Dolly 3 offers square images, a perfect 1024 by 1024 pixel fit. Wide images with a 1792 by 1024 pixel dimension, great for landscapes. Tall images at 1024 by 1792 pixels, ideal for portraits. For your desired format, sprinkle your description with terms like square, wide, or tall. It's that simple. A tip from the pros? Details, instead of just a dog, paint a vivid picture, a sunlit park with a golden retriever joyfully chasing a blue frisbee, cartoon illustration. Didn't get what you envisioned? No worries. Pinpoint what you change and provide that feedback. Dolly 3 learns from it. I asked to keep the last image as it is and just change the frisbee to be red. Then I said, keep it as it is and add somewhere the name of the dog, the word Max. Good boy! Then I asked for a few more variations of it saying, great, give me a few more subtle variations of it. It got two of them right, and the last one misspelled the word max. You can also go back and edit previous requests. You will see a pencil icon that let you edit the text. I asked to keep it as it is and just make the dog black. Nice. While Dolly 3 boasts impressive visualization capabilities, it thrives on clarity. Instead of joy, depict a kid laughing joyfully while having fun on a swing at the park. Safety first. Dolly 3 steers clear of sensitive content. It's designed to respect boundaries. Feeling whimsical? How about a Victorian era detective solving mysteries in space? Or a knight jousting on a T-Rex? The sky's the limit. From serene landscapes to bustling marketplaces, fantasy realms to modern day scenes, Dolly 3's range is vast. Experiment with moods, colors, eras, textures, and so much more. You can copy the prompt and adapt it to fit your needs. Here's a list of descriptive words and terms that can be used to modify or refine an image prompt. As you can see, you can play with lighting, mood, color, perspective, emotion, and many other things. Dolly 3 is more than just a tool, it's an avenue for creativity. From writers to designers, educators to students, the applications are endless. Remember, practice makes perfect. 
The more you use it, the better you will get at crafting descriptions that yield stunning visuals. The world of Dolly 3 is vast and waiting for you to explore. So, go ahead, paint with your words. There you have it, a quick guide to Dolly 3 with ChatGPT+. If you found value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, keep exploring, keep creating. Until next time.